Hey everyone, welcome back. Hit tell me with Bunny Ballistics. We have our next video and it's some more Corbon. Yay! So we just did our 125 grain. So this is going to be a 115 grain. This says 1500 um, as the average on the box, 575 foot pounds of energy. We will see how true that is. Um, you know what? They tend to actually work pretty well. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy with them and they're fairly cheap. Don't remember the price, but I think they're under $20 for a box of 20. And I mean, cheap is, you know, in the eye of the beholder for, uh, defensive ammo. That's fairly cheap. So that's not terrible. All right. We're going to get right into it. We'll do. All right, guys. Today we have a another Corbon for 357 seg. This one though is 115 grain. And it says it has a velocity of 1500 and the uh, energy 575. And again, we are using my P226 Elite. It's got a four and a half inch barrel on it. And this is what these guys look like. Again, similar to the other ones, uh, the Starline Brass. And they're pretty, just kind of overall your everyday uh, jacket of hollow points, I would say. Nothing too crazy about them. All right, let's get into our chrono testing. And here we got some more core bonds. 115 grain, supposed to be 1500 uh, FPS. And here's what they look like again. All right, let's do this. Three shots. Fourteen forty-two. Fourteen forty-two. Uh, we had a light strike. It looks like there. So definitely a light strike. Let's try again. Same round. Try two. There we go. Fourteen fifty-four. Last one. Fourteen forty-seven. Fourteen forty-seven. Fourteen forty-seven was our average. Spread twelve. Deviation five. Wow, really good. Not quite the 1500, but it was fairly close. Let's uh, let's see these guys uh, in some gel action. All right, 115 grain Corbon in 357 sig. I hit it kind of close to our last test, but you can see it right on top there. You can kind of make out the difference on this top. It seemed like it did a lot more damage than uh, the 125 grain. It did not go nearly as far. Sorry, I already pulled it out. It stopped right there right about at 12 inches but this didn't break apart nearly as much as the uh, 124 grain either you can see there are little pieces in there but not nearly as much as the 124 grain all right so here is the weight uh, and as you all know, we're only doing one one test round, as you guys could see. So 
So here's this. So this is supposed to be one fifteen grain. One twelve point two ish. So really not bad. Um, I had a feeling it lost something in it. But they're a little harder to find. But yeah, that one mushroomed a lot more than our 125 test, didn't it? Yeah. The speed was definitely a lot more. I mean, I guess when you think about it, it was only maybe 50 FPS more, but you can see what the difference was. And granted, there was, you know, less lead there, but uh, this one also did have a little plug of lead, or I'm sorry, of denim. And it, it looks, let's see if I can show it to you. It is like a little pyramid. You can see how it was inside the... A little hollow point there and it just kind of well it's supposed to just kind of sit in there and it's just kind of like that and my phone doesn't like focusing on anything but yeah and it was just like that but that's that for you um, it had to have lost some stems. I didn't see any. Maybe they curled over. Uh, that I'm not too sure about. But, uh, let's go see what the diameter of this is, because this thing really expanded. And just like normal, we're going to be taking three different measurements. So our first one, we have, uh, 0.652. The second one we have is 0 0.660, and then our third is 0 0.677, and I think that is our largest. All right, so we have more Corbon. It was this was our 115 grain compared to the 125 grain we just did. And as you can see, compared to that one, uh, this guy is a uh, squished. So granted, it is uh, less weight, but it is moving. Uh, our average was about 1450. So it is moving a lot faster. I am really happy to see that it didn't just break up into pieces. It, it really stayed together quite well, you can see. And look how big that mushroom is. And you know, these start at 0.355, so... Going up to six or seven, I mean, that's, you know, 50% increase. Pretty crazy. Wait, 50%? 100%. Sorry. Really crazy. So I thought it did great. Like I said, 1450 was the uh, about the average we got. Uh, the standard deviation was five for this ammo. Granted, I know we only do three shots, but five is so consistent still. Like when we make, when I make my own ammo, uh, I am shooting for under 10 standard deviation in my rounds to try and make sure that I made them pretty much the exact same every time. So, um, and that is not the easiest to do um, unless you're, I guess, uh, have really good equipment. I'm sorry, I don't, but um, it's easy enough. It just takes a little bit more time, I guess I should say. Um, this only went about, uh, what was it? Let's look at my nose. It's about 11 inches. So that was a little shallow. Um, it did have a nice wound cavity, though, because it, it hit that gel block and just, yeah, <laughs> it was going fast. But uh, um, I know penetration wasn't great. I would still use this. I think it still did enough wounding that um, whoever you shot with it would be... Um, very unhappy, <laughs> to say the least. Um, so, other than that, uh, what do you guys think about this bullet? Corbon in general? Um, anything else that's on the market? Oh yeah, let me know if, too. If you guys have anything you want tested, I'm more than happy to test stuff. Um, I have lots of other videos in the making. I've done some teaser pictures. Um, for some, some not. So you'll get some surprises in the future. But uh, as of right now, I have a lot of gel videos coming out for you guys. So be prepared. 
and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy them. Um, so make sure you subscribe to see all those new ones that are going to be coming out. And if you like the video, please like, uh, hit that, that little button down there. So it's like a thumbs up, hit that like, yeah. And then um, make sure you subscribe, please. Did I say that already? I think I already said it. Make sure to comment. Let me know what you liked, didn't like. I like criticism. Doesn't matter, good or bad. Whatever helped improve my channel and whatever makes you guys like the videos. I mean, granted, this is kind of for me because I really enjoy this, but I want you guys to enjoy it too. So if there's something little, even big, let me know. I'll see what I can do. Um, my Patreon, if you want to support the channel, you can get hit, hit it up. It's the Funny Ballistics. It is uh, down in the uh, profile. Um, profile. Yeah, it's down below. You guys can find it. I'm on Utreon and Rumble as well. So you guys can find me there if you don't like YouTube. So feel free. And uh, if I missed anything, please let me know in the comments. And I uh, love you guys. I hope you have a great one. And take care. Good night.